Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Friday. We're coming uh, to you this morning to give you an update on what's going on in the tropics here in the Atlantic Basin. What you see behind me is Tropical Storm Franklin, which has maximum sustained winds of about 50 miles per hour, centered here to the east of the Turks and Caicos and up situated north of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. The storm has actually been sliding uh, east-southeastward this morning at about five miles per hour. You can see the center of Franklin is exposed here, and you can see the low clouds here with all the shower and thunderstorm activity displaced to the south and east of the center by some strong upper-level winds. But we eventually expect Franklin to turn eastward and then northward and then strengthen to a hurricane over the weekend and then pass, uh, turn northward and then northeastward with the center of Franklin passing uh, somewhere between Cape Hatteras and Bermuda. Looks like a little closer to the Bermuda side at this point in time as a hurricane as we go through the day on uh, from Monday into Tuesday and then turning northeastward to the south of New England on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, there is some potential for impacts from, uh, from Franklin, uh, particularly in Bermuda, where we have about a 40% chance of seeing sustained tropical storm force winds uh, and if those winds were to occur in Bermuda, the most likely time of arrival would be sometime Monday night into Tuesday. But even with the center of Franklin remaining offshore, powerful hurricanes produce dangerous surf and rip currents. And we already have, this is the rip current risk currently along the southeast coast of the United States. Everywhere you see in red here currently has a high risk of rip currents and yellow has a moderate risk of rip currents. And we lose a lot of people to uh, surf and rip currents and uh, hurricanes and tropical storms here in the United States. Almost as many fatalities from that as we have from even wind or storm surge over the past 10 years. So this is something you're going to want to pay attention to as we go through the next uh, several days. The rip current risk from Franklin as those waves generated by that storm reach the southeastern United States all the way from Florida up to the Carolinas and then eventually up into the mid-Atlantic and northeast states. You're going to want to keep an eye on the uh, any uh, warnings that are present along the beach. Go to weather.gov slash beach and check the beach forecast before you head out. And please stay out of the water if you're asked to do so. Uh, again, we lose a lot of people in surf and rip current conditions, so that's something to pay attention to as we go into what for many people is going to be a last week of summer before we hit the Labor Day holiday. Uh, beyond Franklin, we are watching a broad area of low pressure here uh, across the Western Caribbean Sea. Uh, there's not much to look at yet, but we are starting to see some showers and thunderstorms, albeit disorganized, start to increase near this system today. Uh, we are expecting this system to go on and become a tropical depression over the next several days. We're giving it a high chance, 70% of becoming a tropical depression as it moves northward uh, over the northwestern Caribbean Sea and into the eastern Gulf of Mexico and toward the Florida Peninsula as we move into the early portions of next week. There's a lot of uncertainty with the system since it's yet to take shape. Uh, what we're most confident in is that there will probably likely be some rainfall impacts uh, across much of the Florida Peninsula and possibly up along the southeast coast of the United States from Georgia up through the Carolinas as the system can, may continue to move northward and northeastward as we go into the middle portions of next week. Uh, we certainly could see a tropical depression or tropical storm affect the Florida Peninsula, uh, and uh, that's something you'll want to pay attention to. This is the rainfall forecast for the middle to late portions of next week, basically ending uh, Thursday morning. And you can see there's the potential here for several inches of rain. I don't want you to pay attention to the details of this, but there is the potential for rainfall, potentially heavy rainfall across portions of the Florida Peninsula and up into the southeastern United States as we move into next week. So keep checking in on the forecast uh, through the weekend as we monitor this system. Uh, we may have a, you know, aircraft reconnaissance investigating the system as we move later into the weekend. So by the time we get to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we could certainly be seeing some impacts from this system in Florida and into the southeastern U.S. So just uh, wrap up here with an overall look at the tropics. The two features we're focusing on today, again, Tropical Storm Franklin, which is going to be a, a rip current and dangerous surf threat for much of the United States East Coast as we move into next week, and our potential developing system here in the northwestern Caribbean and in the, into the eastern Gulf of Mexico that could affect Florida up to the Carolinas. So please stay tuned for more updates throughout the weekend. Go to hurricanes.gov for here at the National Hurricane Center. Get information from your local National Weather Service forecast office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.